Today I'm just really going to show you some new things that I picked up. Some of these I haven't used before, some of these I have, and um, yeah, let's just, let me just talk about it. Okay, so I haven't used some of the products. I'm just kind of looking at them maybe because half of them were on sale and I was in a rush so I just grabbed the ones that were on sale. Um, so okay, first thing I picked up was, these are all from Walmart, so yes, <laughs> was the Hard Candy um, Walk the Line Lip, I mean, sorry, Liquid Eyeliner. Um, I've only used their mascara and it works really good and it's really pretty. So yeah, and then also on the label it says we love our, what is it, our animal friends. We do not test any animals and our products on our animals. So if you like only use products that are tested that are not tested on animals, Hard Candy is a good brand, good products, they are what they say they are, if they show up, if they say they're vivid colors, they will be vivid colors, and, but, this is only my experience from, I tried out one eyeshadow palette, and sorry, also the mascara, I didn't, but yeah, but I have not tried out their, their um, eyeliners, but I will be doing a makeup review, um, makeup tutorial, and I will definitely put this in there, so yeah, so I think I'm actually... I'm slowly starting to use products that are more um, not tested on animals. Because I know CoverGirl and Revlon, I believe they do test on animals, which I do use those a lot. But then they're not the best quality. Like, once you start discovering more and more different makeups, you discover that the brands that you're used to are not the only ones that you could use. So I think I'm going to start using the Hard Candy um, line because they're animal friendly. And they're really cute packaging, and they're good as far, like, not good. They're, like, really good quality. So, yeah. That's one thing that I got. And then I got these. I did open this. I opened just the package just to see the, um, sorry. Let me actually show you how thin. It's very thin. I'm not used to these thin ones, but, you know, if I really want a more precise one, it makes sense to use it. So, yeah. It's just really cute. Like, I'm really excited to use this one. Okay. And then these refreshing cleansing towel blends. Well, there's, there's a lot in here. Does it say how many in there? No. It says, instantly removes makeup, even mascara. Oil free. It's that brand. What? Whatever. And, yeah. They're pretty thick, as you can tell. A lot of them in there, and I've only used one from last night because I didn't want makeup on my pillow anymore. Because you know, when I'm lazy, I don't really feel like taking off. Anyway, so yeah, I got these wipes. I'm sorry, guys, my dogs. And I am just taking these out the back for like first And then I got the Keratin Smooth Controls Frizz for up to 48 hours. The conditioner because I have a lot of shampoo, and shampoo I kind of think is just like whatever, just to get like if you have hairspray in your hair, um, then you use out. On my chair. Then you use that to like get it out or like gel or any product in your hair. But conditioner is made to be smoothing. So I really invest more in conditioners than shampoos. Because shampoos, they're not nourishing your hair. They're actually taking out the oils and stuff like that. So it doesn't really matter. Yep, so. Yep, this is really good. So. And then I just got, since I needed more tutor and I got these two. I... I've used this before, I have not used this, but I definitely have used, I got two, I've definitely used this one, the Tropical Paradise, sorry I'm reading it backwards, so yeah, um, yeah, it smells really good, so, yeah, these were, I think, do I have the receipt in here, I probably don't, anyways, these were either 99 cents each, I'm sorry, or they were like a dollar, like a dollar and some change, but I'm, I got two, so yeah. Next is, okay, this, I was looking for this mascara, but I got it for Christmas, and I knew it was at Walgreens, but I still looked at Walmart for it, and I couldn't find this one, but this one works just as well, the Falsies by Maybelline, which I know, this is, before, um, I couldn't find a lot of good deals for the hard, uh, the hard candy one, but I wasn't looking for, like, 
I was looking for specific things. So next time I go to the store, I will be picking up more of the hard candy to uh, minimize my products that are animal tested on. So you'll be seeing me have less and less Revlon, CoverGirl, Maybelline, all that. But I did just buy this because it was on sale and it was um, two. I needed um, a new eyeliner and so I have the liquid um, eyeliner. I wanted um, like, you know, a crayon kind of eyeliner. And this was like three something. These are usually itself is like two to three and this is like five to seven. So you're getting like like a lot cheaper so yeah you can also i think this is at walgreens yeah it's like a it says special value so i don't know if it's gonna be that more. and then the last thing yep the last thing i got was the tresemme thermal creation heat tamer i needed something for a heat protector so so yeah that's what this is I'm not sure if they would test this on animals. I really don't know. But it has this cool little lock thing right here. It locks in place. So if you have like a kid and they don't spray it in their eye. So yeah, so that's all I got. And I believe I got all of that. Um, Because I know this and the conditioner were probably the most priciest. I would say... $25 maybe? 